I recently moved out, and I already have a horror story to tell. The house I moved into isn't anything impressive, it's just a house that's appropriate for one or two people. But I'd say right away, I started hearing weird sounds coming from inside the walls. I first heard it in the kitchen, and then in the bathroom, but on night three, I started hearing it in my bedroom. I was sure there was some kind of animal living in my walls. I just had to figure out how to get rid of it. The next morning, I didn't even have enough milk to fill the bowl of cereal. I couldn't believe I hadn't realized I needed more milk. In fact, I seemed to be eating up all of my food pretty fast. I woke up in the middle of that night to the sound of breathing. Not my breathing. It, it sounded just like the breathing of a person. I flipped the lamp on and it stopped. I chalked it up as my mind playing tricks on me after waking up. The next day was really hot, so I turned on the AC for the first time. I checked every single vent, and some of them weren't blowing any air, one of them being the vent right next to my bed. I peered through the vent with a flashlight. There wasn't even a duct behind the vent. It was just the inside of the wall. It seemed that whatever air duct was in there had been removed. Unfortunately, I didn't look into the air conditioning system while buying the house, so I didn't know about this. That night, I had to sleep in the heat with no AC, so I was up pretty late constantly rolling around and flipping the pillow over. Then I eventually started to hear the breathing again, but this time I was fully awake. I knew it was real this time. It was coming to my left. I looked to my left at the air vents. The sound was surely coming from in there. I grabbed the flashlight again and shined it in through the vent. I dropped it and screamed. There was someone's face peering through the cracks of the vents. The first thing I saw were their eyes, open wide and glowing. I screamed all the way down and out the house. I soon found out there was a crazy, dangerous homeless man living in my walls, and he had been eating my food ever since I moved in.